Ah. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Unplug TV Australia. Okay, this will be the first of four tests I will do. We are still driving on the old battery and I would like to do two range tests. One will be 60 kilometers per hour and the other one will be 100 kilometers. I probably do the same trip from here to Cominia, which is fairly flat and it's a 100 kilometer zone. And we can do both tests on this road. There's not too much traffic on there, so I can do a 60, 60 km per hour test and a 100 km per hour test with the old battery. And then once we got the new battery, I will do the same test again and see what the difference actually in range is. Okay, let's get started with the first test. This will be 60 km per hour and I will turn around. So considering we're driving slowly, I probably can drive down the car to 25% state of charge. Divided by 2 plus the 25, so 62.5% would be the middle. So once I reach 62.5% on the dock, I will turn around and drive back home. We will have a little bit of headwind this afternoon when we go there, but on our way back we will have tailwind. And we should have a fairly consistent result with that because we are going there and back so we have compensation for elevation, wind and all this kind of stuff. Let's see, um, start live data. 98.9% .9 as always. As always guys. And the gasometer shows us 50 kilometers now. Well, the dog shows us 27. So I'm setting cruise control to 60 kilometers per hour, which is 57, 58 kilometers in real life. And we let the car do whatever it needs to do in this speed. We have some mild, some, some mild elevation at the beginning of the trip here. But it shouldn't affect the result too much because we are going the other way on our way back to compensate for that. So and once we got up this little hill here, we are entering the 100 km per hour zone. And it is fairly open and flat here now for the rest of the trip. So if cars coming from behind, they can just overtake me um, safely and easily on this road. I will keep myself to the left as much as possible. So I'm not um, holding anyone up. I can also drive a little bit over the line on the left hand side to make more space. So there should be no problem at all. And we have lost the first blue bar at four and a half kilometers now. Energy consumption is four to five kilowatts at a speed of 58 kilometers per hour as per GPS. Very flat conditions here to do this hypermiling test. So we are now 10 kilometer into the test and we are on 81% state of charge. I have been overtaken by several cars, but this guy is staying behind me on 60 kilometers per hour. Don't know, maybe he's doing a test as well in his Ford. Who knows? Plenty of space. So <laughs> I'm not sure why he's, why he's staying behind me all the time. All right. So the last one kilometer we have averaged a consumption of 14.2 kilowatt hours. Oh, finally, finally. He was staying behind me for the last five kilometers. That is still fairly high if you consider we are driving only 60 kilometers per hour. So I'm not sure what that is. But we have um, headwind. And these trucks coming towards us are not helping either. And now we are doing this fairly long and slightly downhill section here. You can see the car is coasting most of the time. And we are not 
not using any energy at all so it's coasting down with 60 kilometers per hour it uses very little energy but on the way home we have to get up here again so and here again long long stretches of straight roads almost no elevation in there and thankfully not much traffic so I can really drive 60 kilometers per hour. I haven't touched any pedals so far yet. I still have the cruise control on and riding with uh, 60 kilometers per hour. Thankfully the truck behind me is turning. So he didn't catch up with me. Oh, there's another truck behind him. <laughs> oh, okay, we are down to 68% state of charge. Oh, he's turning as well, good. It's uh, interesting to see that the EV range on the gasometer here stabilizes now. It doesn't go down that fast anymore. We are, I would say we've got 50%. How much do we have here? 53% on the battery gauge. And this one has moved for a while here. It's still on 24. And you can see the consumption is um, very low now. It's 139 watt hours per kilometer only. We have now driven 20 kilometers all in total. The EV range on the dock shows us still 21 kilometers left and the gasometer on the dashboard shows us 22 kilometers left. And we are at 65 percent state of charge. We are very close to uh, drive into the township of Cominia and I probably turn around there so 62.5% would be exactly half the battery. I go a little bit further just to make sure I deplete everything before I come home. And because we are only driving 60 kilometers anyway, I don't have to slow down here in the town. So, before we are heading back, just some quick stats. 61% state of charge and we have driven 22 kilometers. So in theory, in theory I could make it to 44 kilometers, which would be insane. But this is hypermiling. This is 60 km an hour constantly. We have 19 kilometers on the dog and we have 19 kilometers on the gasometer. Okay, let's turn around and drive back home. What am I doing here? Ah, fully driving. <laughs> I underestimated the turn radius of the car. <laughs> I've driven through the ditch. <laughs> okay, moderate acceleration. going back to 60 kilometers an hour hypermiling back home exactly 22 kilometers was half the way entering 100 kilometers again ah, look at this 44 watt hours per kilometer that is insane So 60, 60 kilometers per hour is actually a good speed. I uh, feel very safe. I probably could stop the car within a couple of meters now when I slam the brakes and there would be no issue at all. So very safe. 118 watt hours per kilometer for the last kilometer. My uh, forehead is turning shiny now. It's getting warm in here. And we have traveled 30 kilometers now on the spot. We still have 11 kilometers left as per the dog and 11 kilometers left as per the GOM. And we are at 46.1% state of charge at this point of time. Here on this really flat road, I mean, I'm driving it for a couple of minutes now. The consumption has averaged to 12.5 kilowatt hours or 125 watt hours per kilometers. So this is fairly low. 
11.1 only so it goes down even if you're driving on a flat road ah I know why because we've got headwind now we've got this little tiny amount of headwind and yeah we are using only four to six kilowatt hours while before it was five to seven and it reflects straight away in the actual consumption I have not pressed any of the pedals at all since we started and we are close to 40 kilometers on our trip ah the engine just came on 40 kilometers maximum range at 30.9 percent state of charge the engine came on and my state of health is 70.8 percent okay this is a bit disappointing i was i was hoping to get probably the 42 kilometers but the engine kicked in before that I was hoping to get down to only 25% state of charge but it kicked in well above the 30% the car has not considered this driving style as overly economical and let me drive the battery further down to 25% stop live data and I'm just driving home Cancel the autopilot. Oh, 80 kilometers feels fast. Woo! Flying! Yeah, did you miss me? Huh? Did you miss me? Yeah, I was away for 25 minutes. Huh? It still gives me a sportive driving style. But five leaves in the car on only 3.9 here. Shame on you, dog. I recharged the car before with 6.3 but I used only 5.9 so this means the engine kicked in quite early and that's exactly what we have seen it was around 30.9 percent when the engine kicked in and I was hoping to drive it a little bit further down and to maximize my range but didn't happen for some reason okay but we averaged um, 14 140 143 watt hours per kilometer which is still high considering we are driving only 60 kilometers an hour so I'm not sure anyway that was the first test so thanks for watching guys thanks for your support this is Andy from Unplugged TV Australia Dead light. signing off okay guys anyway you stay charged we will see you guys in the next video for sure see you then bye bye